Hey guys, Casey from Web Kaiju here. These are um, some Godzilla Valentine's uh, cards from back in the day. And this is the giant behemoth. I have no idea how I've gone this far in my life watching the movies I watch without seeing The Great Behemoth. Stop motion itself is well done, especially the tongue movement which is a detail you don't see often in either kaiju or stop animation movies. Most of the stop animation scenes also involve projection effects to have both the behemoth and fleeing civilians in the same shot and they look perfect. The cinematography is odd. Sometimes there's some shaky shots, but more often it's good. Camera pans with characters as they walk or sit fantastically. People and objects are placed at angles going into the background, and I really like that. While the score, which is mainly made up of musical cues, is fine, it's a lot louder than the audio levels for the dialogue. Some rotoscoping looks good, like this electricity, but the explosions are far from realistic. The acting isn't terrible, but nothing astounding. The story is minimal, mainly scientists trying to figure out what's going on, even though the first victim and the news reporter shortly afterwards mention a giant monster. To be fair, confirmation should be needed, it's just not entertaining. Plus, the scientific questions the narrative had me wanting answers to were never answered. The black and white looks kind of washed out and bland here compared to other black and white films that have strong contrast and its minimal color palette. The radiation which comes off the titular behemoth gives off this silly spiral light and it's shown to kill all of the behemoth's victims for at least the first half of the film. Each of these scenes are also accompanied by an equally silly sound effect which just seems comical next to the overly serious tone of the story and acting. As far as monster designs go, this one is pretty unoriginal and not really well executed the first time you see it. It's, I think just the water puppet or water model is really bad. Its roar is very, very uninspired. The swimming effects leave a lot to be desired as well. The monster has a lot of textures on it that looks like residue from thumbprints and other materials made to sculpt it, but it's a fictional monster, so it could be exactly what the creature would look like. The movie is not long, just over an hour, and it doesn't feel long, but it also never feels tenseful. You don't care about the characters, you don't care about the in-movie world, you don't even care about the monster. So that was the giant behemoth. Um, you know, it wasn't a great time, but it wasn't bad. Uh, it's a very okay film. It's one of the most okay films I've ever seen. Take that however you will. Um, if you have any movies you want me to review, leave a comment below, and thanks for watching. What was it? Behemoth. <laughs>